Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Hope and for today's video I am going to be doing an acrylic pour painting using this strainer. This is my first time doing an acrylic pour painting using a strainer and I have to say I really like how it turned out. I bought, it was like a set of three strainers and it came with silicone oil and I got that off of Amazon. It was about $15 which I thought was a good deal. So I ordered that and I wanted to try out this flower shaped one when they came in. For paint, I'm using Master's Touch Acrylic Paint in the colors Titanium White, Iridium, Lake Blue, and Cobalt Blue. I mixed two parts paint with one part Floetrol and then I added about 10 drops of the silicone oil. The oil that I'm using, I think it's pronounced Pixis. It's Pixis Pouring Oil and um, it's spelled P-I-X-I-S-S -S. and like I said this came with the strainers for $15 so it was a, it was a combo set. Um, so I added the oil and I also added a little bit of water because the Master's Touch paint was like super thick. I'm used to using like apple barrel paint that you can pick up from Walmart. started with titanium white, then viridian, lake blue, and cobalt blue, and I did that until I ran out of paint. After I did run out of paint, I went ahead and lifted that strainer up, and the thing about, like I said earlier, is the paint was so thick, and I was trying so hard to keep the pattern that you see now because I really like the pattern that the strainer gave the paint, but because it was so thick, I just couldn't keep that pattern and spread it out to the edges of the canvas. I probably could have used more paint, but I feel like the paint would have been sitting on top of the canvas too thick and then it probably would have like cracked. So I tried mixing up titanium white and I did the same thing, the titanium white, flow with troll, oil and water um, combination. And I poured that around the edges of the canvas and then I used a painting knife to spread the paint out and I was hoping I could like leave the edges white and then try to keep the pattern focused towards like the center of the canvas. But I did not like how that looked, which you'll see in a second. I ended up after spreading out the white paint. I ended up picking the painting up, tilting it, and going ahead and pretty much getting rid of all of the white. I just spread that pattern that you see in the center throughout the whole canvas and it really stretched out the colors which ended up looking pretty cool. It's just nothing like when I first picked that strainer up which is completely okay. Next time I think I'm going to try using like the apple barrel paints or some type of thinner brand paint. I can't think of any other brands off the top of my head right now, but I think a thinner paint would work a lot better. Um, yeah, so I went ahead, I spread out the paint, and after this I go ahead and take a torch, a torch to blow out any of the air bubbles, and I really like how it ended up turning out. It's completely different than I thought it was going to look when I first used the strainer, but I do like how it looks. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.